This is a tutorial on setting up and solving nonlinear programming problems with Python. We're going to use, in fact, the Gecko package here to solve an NLP. You can also solve LP, linear programming, quadratic programming, mixed integer linear, or mixed integer nonlinear programming problems. The next tutorial we'll cover will be MINLP. So we have a problem statement here where we're going to minimize this objective function subject to a couple different constraints. One is going to be an inequality constraint where the product of all the values, x1 through x4, has got to be greater than or equal to 25. And then our next one, which has got to be uh, the, the sum of all the square values, is going to be equal to 40. We're going to limit the values of x1 through x4 to be between 1 and 5. And then there are some initial starting guesses for x1 through x4. Graphically, this is represented by this contour plot where we have x4 here and x2. I fixed the values of x1 and x3 just to be able to show a two-dimensional contour plot. Here is our constraint where we have to be equal to 40. It has to lie somewhere along that curve. And then we also have our inequality constraint right here where that equals 25. So we just have to be greater than 25, so somewhere on that side of that line. Now if we were equal to 25, we'd have a solution right here on the bottom right where the two intersect. We can just be greater than. So we also want to look at the objective, and these are the contours of the objective that you saw right here at the top. And we want to try to find the minimum value that satisfies this equality constraint right here and also this inequality constraint. So we're going to look somewhere along this line. It has to be equal to something along this line right here. And if we look at the objective values, we'll see that we're going lower. As we come down here, we're getting to a lower value of the objective. And so in fact, the optimal solution will be right down here in the bottom right. So let's set this up and solve it with Python. Uh, we have uh, you know, uh, the Gecko dynamic optimization package. And this is a number 9 out of 18 for the tutorials. So the very first thing you'll need, if you don't have it installed, just do pip install Gecko within the Jupyter Notebook. And that will uh, go out and retrieve Gecko and install it. If you already have it, then it will say that it's already satisfied. Okay, the next thing that you'll need is just to import Gecko. So from Gecko, we'll import Gecko and then create our new model, which is just going to be equals to Gecko, open and close parentheses. We'll create some new variables with value equals, you know, one, that's going to be our initial guess, and lower bound equals one, and upper bound equals to five. We'll make that equal to a variable called x1 and then we'll copy that for our other variables as well now the only difference with these other ones is the initial guess is going to be equal to 5 and that is for x2 and x3 and then x4 is very similar to x1 okay next we need to define our equations Okay, you can either do it with equations and define multiple, or equation, which will define just one at a time. So I'm just going to define it with uh, equation, and here's our greater than or equal to 25. And then I also have um, the product, or the, the sum of the squares of all of them are going to be equal to 40. Okay, equals to 40. And then we also have our objective. Now it's going to minimize whatever is here inside the objective expression. So I'll just type this in exactly as it uh, shows up in the mathematical statement. Okay, and then we're done defining our problem. Now what we need to do is solve it. And I'll just say display equals false. And this will solve uh, the problem, and then we'll print the solution. So here is x1.value, and then we'll do x2.value, print x3.value, and finally x4. OK, 
Okay, and then we'll run this. This is going to uh, solve it, uh, solve the nonlinear programming problem by guessing different values of x1 through x4 with a gradient based method. And there you can see the optimized solution uh, that uh, is the uh, you know, is a solution to this uh, optimization problem. Okay, so we have the the optimal solution here. We w might want to see some things like uh, you know be able to see the solver output. So if I say display equals true, then when it solves it, we'll see the solver. Uh, in this case, it's going to be the IPOP solver. I think I went down too far there. Let me come back up. Okay, so here is the IPOP solver, and you can see the, the solver output on how it ran, and then it says optimal solution found, and the solution time with the final uh, values there. Okay, so that would be the IPOP solver. If you wanted to change the solver, before you do solve, you can do m.options.solver equals 1 for the APOP solver or other solvers. By default, it's equal to 3, which is the IPOP solver. So you can change which solver you're going to be using. You know, different, different types of solvers are going to work better for different types of problems. And there you can see the APOP solver instead. So I'm going to change that back to the IPOP solver and then I'll show you how to change one of the options, um, you know, solver options and then I'll put in, in uh, quotes here. We'll do linear uh, solver is MA97 which is a parallel uh, linear solver and there you can see it still found the optimal solution but now it is using the linear solver, which is the MA97 instead. Okay, so you can change some of the options of the solvers directly within Gecko to get a different, uh, a different solution. Okay, so that, uh, that concludes this tutorial on solving a nonlinear programming problem with, uh, with Gecko. Again, you can solve linear programming, quadratic programming, and then the next tutorial will show it with discrete variables as well, where some of these variables are going to be discrete and it will find a mixed integer nonlinear programming solution.